Today we are building a multi vendor e commerce website, just like eBay, in this video tutorial. The benefit to this is seller will come to your website, click on start selling, and sell their own products on your store. That is why it's called multi vendor e commerce website. Now, if you have ever sold a product on eBay or Amazon, these sites are classified as multi vendor sites because they have allowed you to sell your products on their store or website. So in this YouTube channel, I'll be showing you how you can build your own professional looking e-commerce website because I am a website developer myself and I'm here to help you out. Don't worry, you don't have to go to school to learn any of what I teach on this YouTube channel. All you have to do is to dedicate your time and watch my videos from scratch and to learn as well. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and enable all notifications and never miss another update. Without wasting your time, let's go ahead and see how this website looks. But before that, if you take a very closer look at this website, it's very similar to eBay. The features eBay has are also on our website. Not forgetting of Amazon and other online stores we have on the internet. So watching this video will do a lot of good to you and if you're able to do this right you will be able to start your own business or turn it to in, into a company so it's then time for me to show you the shopping website and how customers will buy products on your store so this is the shopping page you click on shop this is a shopping page or the shop page of your website the shop page contains all the web uh, products listed on your website and other features just like this where customers or buyers will come and shop their pro your products by popularity ratings the latest lower to high and high to low scrolling down we have all these products with copyright text and your company name Let's see how a single product would look like. So we click on this, and this is how a single product looks like. Now we have a single product with title, the pricing, product image, a button where they can add this product to cart, or increase the quantity of the product they are trying to order. Scrolling down, we have the description of the product. So we go ahead and read about this product. Reviews, the vendor selling this product, and more products from this vendor. Scrolling down, we have related products to that the product we are guess see, where they can add this product to cart with a copyright text and a company name. So that's how a single product looks like. You go ahead and add this product to cart, view the cart and check out. So this is the checkout page where they fill their details. And then pay you through credit card. Now I understand some countries PayPal is not supported. Don't worry. In this tutorial, I'll help you integrate payment methods just like mobile money, credit card, and PayPal, if PayPal is supported. So all you have to do is to stick around, watch the training video from scratch. Now this video is going to be heavy. It's going to be value packed. That's why I want you to close all distractions and walk or watch this video step by step okay so this is the checkout page after filling the information your credit card details you place the order so that's how a customer or a buyer will go by selling a, uh, buying a product on your store now it's time to show you how uh, sellers will also create their accounts on your store to sell their own products so a seller will come to your website or land on your home page 
of the website click on start selling fill in their information password and click here to enroll as a vendor so you enter his first name last name the shop URL phone number and then register as a vendor after he or she registers as a vendor on your site we are going to give him a dashboard where he can manage the products manage payments and orders that have came in on his web uh, store I've registered as a vendor already so I'm going to log in as a, vent, uh, a seller or a vendor. So I'll enter my details. And then log in. So this is the dashboard for me as a what? A seller. This is where you manage your products, the orders, and your withdrawals. Now it's very good to bring to your notice that your earnings are going to be your earnings as a seller is going to be lesser than your sales because we are going to be deducting a percentage from their sales. Now this is the number of page views on their store and the number of orders that have came in. So this is a lifetime or a the statistics of the what the whole dashboard okay so that was a very quick overview of the whole site we are going to be building in this video tutorial before we start let me show you the demo website the exact website we are going to be building in this video so this is the demo website this is the exact website we are going to be building in this video tutorial now I have developed this website ahead of time so I'm going to show you how the website is going to look like I'm doing everything in the inverse to show you how the end results would be before you jump into the plane because we can't enter the airplane without knowing where we are going that's why I'm doing everything in the inverse so this is the demo website we're going to be building this is the exact site we are going to be building in this video tutorial the first part of the website is the header section which contains your logo to the left a search bar with these menus and a card not forgetting your category section you can enter your categories you have on this website we have the phones category watches mp3 and cameras not forgetting these menus we have here and I'll show you how you can create your about us pages add block to your website if you want to block your products not forgetting of this important uh, menus here where customers or sellers will come and click and start selling their own products scrolling down we have this section of the website which is just beneath the header of the website called the hero section containing this text a button where they can click and start what shopping on your site with this image you can change this image to anything we want this is just for demo purposes not forgetting these three category sections you can link this to any category of your shop we have this feature the featured products so if you want to uh, promote most of your products on the front page of this uh, your website we can feature them here with these buttons and with this feature not forget of your recent products they're going to be listed here featured products on sale products scrolling down we have this contact us section with quick links to your site categories that are on your website and the services of your site not forgetting of your copyright text with your company name so this was a very quick demo of the site we are going to be building so if you think this is going to be valuable go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel 
that way it will help grow my YouTube channel as well I'm here to help you start the business you love go into the online world and also see how it works we are building this website in four different steps step one we will get an address called a domain name for the website so this is my domain name this ugly looking domain name so make sure you make the, your domain name short and very easy to spell so that you don't scare your clients okay step two is where we'll be getting a computer called a web host which will keep our website on the internet without that we can continue this training step three is where we'll begin building this website from scratch and the last or the final step is where we're going to integrate payment methods add pages just like this shopping page and all settings you need so go ahead and click the first link we will take you to a page just like this this is makigohost.com so we're going to get our domain name and hosting from makigohost.com now this is a web host I've used to build websites for my clients and this website is also hosted on makigohost.com this demo website go ahead and click on get web space it will take you to their plans they have the basic standard and the go unlimited but you see because we are building one website let's take to the starter plan you can always upgrade inside of your hosting accounts but as we are getting started the starter plan will work fine now this package has 5 gigabytes storage and SSD not HDD let me explain when you make a Google search SSD versus HDD you can see SSD is better than HDD so web hosts that use HDD are outmoded okay so the features are just awesome free and auto SSL this is an SSL and a secured connection okay without SSL you can't accept online payment on your website free SEO tools free cPanel okay so go ahead and click on register now this is where we're going to enter our domain name so go ahead and talk to your family member a business partner your girlfriend your boyfriend about this new venture so you come together and get a domain name for your website because this is going to stay with you for a long time if not for a lifetime so we're entering a domain name here and click on search now this uh, web host has the brain to tell us that google.com is not available because it has been taken by a different company that is google okay and domain name is nothing but the address of your site facebook.com is a domain name google.com is a domain name so they your website.com example.com their domain names because this is not available let me search for something that's available so I'm using my father's name shop I'm registering this now this is available congratulations this is available so you go ahead and continue This is where you review the package you've selected, this basic package with all the features. Now choose billing cycle. If you want to pay six months, you go ahead and select that. But I recommend going with 12 months.
because you're going to get free domain name for your first building cycle. Forget about this, but if you want to get a mobile app for your website, you select this. But as we are starting, let's proceed. So we'll go ahead and click on continue. This is our domain name and it has hosting on it. We are paying one year. DNS management, forget about that. ID protection is very important because anytime you register a domain name on the internet, your data, your information is stored in what is called a who is database, which is publicly accessible by anyone. Okay, so potential or evil doers can use this information to harm you. So if you want them to protect your ID, your, that's your identification, you can click this, which is $2.99 in a year. So you can decide to choose that. If you don't want that, please ignore it and let's continue. But email forwarding, as we are beginning, forget about that. So let's continue. Here we are on the review and checkout page, our basic package, $24, a year, that's a year, we're getting free domain name registration, $12.95 a year, so this building cycle we are not paying this, alright? For now I don't have a coupon code, but in future if I have coupon code I'll give you. So you go ahead and click on checkout. Now this way you enter your details. So you enter your details here. Billing address, domain registration. You can leave this use default contact information. Details above. So if you have entered this, they will go ahead and use this as default. So you don't enter here again. Enter your password. Very strong password I recommend and go ahead and choose global but if your country supports mobile money please select this to pay via mobile money card or paper take this to agree to their terms and conditions and then click on place an order now it's very good to remind you that after you place an order you go ahead and just take some break for at least two hours and come back because your domain name is going to propagate. It's, it will go through what we call propagation period. Your domain name is not going to be publicly live on the internet for less less than an hour. Okay, but in an hour or two, you come back and you have your domain name publicly on the internet. Okay, so you go ahead and place the order. And I'll see you on the other side. So I'll actually go ahead and place an order on this and then see you on the flip side. After you place the order and click on continue to client area, this is going to be your dashboard. You will be redirected to this dashboard. Now your domain name will be like this, your website will be like this after uh, two hours or one hour of your domain propagation. So it will be like this. Don't panic. It's empty. There's nothing on it. Uh, so in this part, I'll walk you through your dashboard of hosting accounts. That's makigohost.com. Your dashboard, how it looks like. Now we have one service with one domain name. We registered one domain name with one package. So we've ordered a hosting package with one domain name. Now these are connected already. You don't have to do any settings on this. Now this is where you get messages. Uh, this is your ticketing system. If you have any question or you want to ever message Makigo Host, this is where you do that. Invoices concerning payment. This is do the domain name we've registered and it's active. Okay, and we have this menus to the left of your hosting account with your details. This is your information here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on this. 
Now this is the hosting package you selected, that's the basic with a domain name which is very active with this green mark very important SSL is de detected if you do have SSL on your site you can accept online payment very important I can't stress that enough okay uh, with this uh, quick menus one service active pending suspended terminated and cancel all this is zero with one active okay so you are good to go so let's go ahead and install WordPress the number one script what we're going to use to build this website is WordPress that we're going to use to make this a website WordPress is very powerful okay so we if you don't know how to code we are going to use WordPress to build our multi vendor e-commerce website so go ahead and click on active and here we are with our domain name the hosting package Domain name here again. You can visit our website directly from here. Manage the domain name. This is our quiz database. This is where our information is stored and is publicly accessible. Okay, that's why I, I recommend and advise you to check that ID protection. Very important. With this quick shortcuts, this is where you manage your files on the website, email accounts, forwarding, backup, and your overview. So you go ahead and click on log in to cPanel. cPanel is your control panel of your website. So this is where we are going to install WordPress. So you click on cPanel. And here we are on our cPanel. So what we want to do is to type sof software. Software. And this is it. Software Class Apps Installer. This is where our apps are. We're going to install WordPress using this. So you click on that again. Now we'll be installing WordPress. Right now I have one WordPress installation or WordPress installed. And that's my demo website. The website I guess showed you when I started this. Um, so we're going to install. But in your case you have zero. You don't have, you not have WordPress installed yet. So we'll go ahead and click on install WordPress. And here we are. Make sure you leave this as it is. This is the version of WordPress you are installing. And then this is the domain name. In your case, you should have one domain name because if you have you, you guess I ordered one domain name, so this should be live. Please make sure you keep you leave you empty this. If you have this directory, it will lead you to all sort of problems, and this will you give your site a name. So I can decide to give my site this name. This is the name you I want to call my website and I can describe my site as online online uh, e-commerce website e-commerce website oh yeah website okay. online e-commerce website please do not take this and this is very important this is what you are going to be using to log in into your dashboard so make sure this is very strong so in my case I'm going to enter this this is my username and my password please hey, for security reasons I'm hiding this now enter my password good make sure your password uh, uh, score is above 50% okay and enter any email address that you have access to please very important because if you have problems that's the email that uh, you are going to use to reset that so make sure you enter an email address that is that you have access to your language which is English definitely and make sure you leave this as it is if you take mark this is going to kick you off anytime you enter wrong password okay for some number of times which is very painful so you go ahead and click on install wordpress and voila wordpress has been installed on your domain name so this is the link to your website directly and this is also a link to your uh, dashboard of wordpress so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open our website and see how it looks so click on command 
to open our website and voila this is our website this is how it looks very ugly right don't worry we'll start building our website from scratch so all we have to do is go back to your software cross apps installer and then click on the administrative uh, URL so uh, whole command open this in a new tab And here we are on our WordPress dashboard. So I will go. I will make a quick overview, uh, showing you how this WordPress dashboard works. Ultimately, how you can create pages, how you can manage pages, and introduce you to what is called plugins and themes. Very important, and also show you the important setups you need to take in order to have your website proper on the internet. So we are doing that right now. All right. In this part of the training, I'm going to introduce you to what we call plugins. Now, on your left hand side, we have a feature called plugins. Just like uh, we see plugins as apps on your mobile phone. Without your mobile apps, your phone is useless, right? So, we use plugins to add extra functionalities to our website. So, that is the importance of plugins. We have plugins for almost everything. If you want to add a contact us page and you don't know how to code, you use a plugin to do that for you. That's a plugin. Don't forget of the appearance teams. Now, teams is very important. That's what is going to make our site uh, a multi vendor site. We're going to use team to customize. Now, see, you can see this look of our site is because of the uh, current or the default team we just installed. So, this team is installed automatically anytime you install WordPress, depending on the year. All right. So, I'm going to hopefully explain everything the teams so it will change your the functionality of your site we have teams for e-commerce teams for educational websites teams for business websites that's also teams don't forget of your customization you customize the appearance the color of your website which is the menus of your site so if you want to add menus this way you also do it your background and your team editor please don't mess with this because this will definitely break your site if you don't know how to code all right Introducing you to the comments. Anytime there's a comment on your site, this is where you get those comments and your pages. Your media, uh, uploading files on your site, this is where you also do that. Your media files. Alright, so let me show you very important settings you have to take on your site right after installation of your WordPress. So after you install WordPress, go to settings, make sure you come to permalinks and click on that. Now you see every website has a your domain name uh, right so your domain name should be domain name slash the page you are not domain name slash the date which is very bad see this see that so you, it should be something like this your domain name slash or forward slash your page not the date all right which is very very bad so please Sigma this this post name so make sure this is set correctly before we move further otherwise you end up getting problems so you go ahead and save this all right that has been saved successfully now let's see how we are going to add change this uh, our site name and description so if you want to change your site name and description this way you do it the general setting site This is your site name. If you don't want this, and you want to change something like we are changing to Solomon Econ, you can change that and also remove this and put biggest. So I'm just showing you how you can modify things on your website, and this is the domain name. Don't mess with this. If you ever want to change the administrative email address of your site, this will you also change that. Very important. And after that, don't forget to save the changes so that this will take effect on your site. So let's save the changes. Now those changes have been saved. So let's go back and refresh the page and this should be changed as you see it has been changed that's good so that's how you also make changes on your site perfect 
now let's say you ever wanting to add a page to your website you are planning to add a contact us page or any page you ever want to add to your website this way you do that pages add new and add a new page on your site give your page a name so let's see home well, naming this home or contact us this home page click on publish and click on publish but you can enter the details what you want here on this just like a text editor publish this as well and your page is live but a blank page uh, page definitely okay so that was just a quick overview and how you use the dashboard of WordPress and hopefully I hope you, you understand how you do that now let's say you want to ever log out of WordPress this way you do that go to logout and click on logout you get logged out of a WordPress dashboard so this is how you do it you enter my details here again and click on login and we are here on the dashboard very important so let's go ahead and build the site in this part of the training I'll show you how you change this website to something like this so in order to change your website appearance you have to install what is called a team so you go to appearance teams Now, by default, we have the 2020 team installed. Uh, we have to install an e-commerce team that will change our website to something like this. So we are doing that by clicking here and search for. And go shop. So this is the team we are going to use to change our site into something like this like this and this is the team so install and activate so anytime you install a team or a plugin don't forget to activate okay so the next step is to come to the Envato team shop team option where you see this notification please click on that go to the recommended actions now this team is recommending some plugins so we have to install the recommended plugins for it to work okay so go ahead and click here install we install every single plugin okay WooCommerce is also important very very important so click on install and the last plugin on the list is Elementor which is a tool we're going to use to build our pages so go ahead and click on install all the recommended plugins have been installed it's then time uh, to activate them okay so anytime you install a plugin don't forget to activate your plugins so this is what we did we installed a team now the team went ahead to recommend certain plugins which will help the team to function better so that's what we did so we'll go ahead to uh, activate those plugins so you go to plugins go to install and click on that here are the plugins the three plugins we've installed right now they are not active so please select here under bulk actions go to activate click on that and apply
and those teams have been activated successfully okay so now the next step we have to take is to run this setup wizard so we click on that and this is the Envato team setup wizard so this is the welcome page thanks for choosing Envato team go ahead and click on get started select your demo template so we'll select this select and install all right so that has been installed now this is a new feature uh, they have these plugins they are recommending certain plugins for it to work best better okay the time i was or i built this website those features were not added so this is just an update so you go ahead and install these three plugins click on that it's activating so there's no need activating these uh, plugins again so you go ahead do this And the final one install and activate it will activate by itself perfect so those plugins have been installed and activated by themselves so let's scroll down and please leave this at as it is and click on import so it's importing the XML data to make our work very 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 easy and fast okay good demo data have been imported thank you so if you have a logo for your website this is where you upload that but right now we are leaving this default logo scroll down we have your site title enter your site title here if you want to change that but you can always change it inside the customization area of your wordpress dashboard we have the tagline you can change that we have the site icon that's the uh, five icon this is the site icon as you can see it will go ahead and replace that wordpress logo so if you have that go ahead and upload it if you don't have it you continue building and after that you upload that later so what we want to do is we click on continue congratulations your website is ready so let's see how our website would look like now let me hold command and open this in a new tab We're opening it in a new tab and voila this is our website is almost the same as the website i built and this is even better this is better than the uh, the website i use as demo because you can see the new updates see these features very awesome let's scroll good perfect we'll change this so we'll go ahead and customize this website and make it look the way we want it to look okay so just follow up with me on the channel and learn as well all right in this part of the video we are giving our sellers a dashboard where they can sell their own products so this is the very important part of the video and very crucial so please close distractions and pay close attention okay so this is what happens you come to your website click on start selling and get a dashboard just like this you go ahead and click on products and get an option to add a new product 
and sell their own products on your store. And that is why it's called a multi-vendor site. So we can only do that by adding a plugin called Doka, which is a free version of the plugin. So we have paid version of those plugins and we have free version. But in this video, I'm giving you the free version. So what we are going to do is go to your dashboard, the website we are building. Hover on plugins, click on add new. Please type Doka. Please, I recall, I, I realize that Dokan has been removed from the directory, so it's not in the directory. That's the plugin directory. So we are going to their home page to download Dokan plugin. So what I want you to do is open a tab and enter this link. Please download the free version of Dokan. Click download. Okay, so we we'll upload this onto our WordPress dashboard. So what we we'll have to do is, please come back, click on upload plugin. Scroll down, click on choose file. And this is Dokan. Double click on that, but if you, don't find, if you have problems finding it here, click here, show all files. Go to downloads and here's Doka. You double click on that, install plugin. Now, if you're getting this error, it means the file uh, size is bigger than your php.in, uh, the file upload size. So, go back to your hosting accounts. Click on client area. It's locking. So we are going to increase the file size. Anytime you get this error inside your WordPress. It means your file size is your upload file size is uh, low, so you have to up, upgrade that. Okay, so you click on services, click on active, please click on go to uh, C panel. So you go to C panel, we're going to increase the file size. Okay, let's scroll down. To where it says software, please click on multiple PHP INI editor. Please choose the domain name where you are working with. Your in your case you should have one domain name, but here I have multiple domain names, but we are working with this, so click on that. But in your case, you should have your domain name here. Wait for it to load. Please scroll down. As you can see, upload max file size is 2 megabyte. Please increase this to 8 and apply. Okay, we did this because uh, the file we are uploading onto our WordPress dashboard is bigger than the 2 megabyte we saw here. So we have to increase that to 8 gigabytes, something bigger than the file we down downloaded from uh, Dokan. Okay, so that has been applied. So you go back to WordPress, 
and refresh that so we are waiting for the file to install after you refresh that the plugin has been installed let's activate we click on activate and here we are on the setup wizard okay so we're going to set this but you see let's skip the settings not right now very good so in this part of the training what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and set up or configure Dokkan settings we'll go to Dokkan click on settings and set up Dokkan that will allow our sellers to sell on our website not just that but we'll also be setting the commissions we want to get in maybe 20% or 30% any percentage you want to get from their sales okay so that's where we're going to be doing that after that another important setting we're going to do is the who uh, who comments settings who comments and settings we are also going to set this and after we do this we have a fully functioning multi-vendor e-commerce website on the internet so before we start i will advise you to close all distractions and follow up because this is the very vital part of the whole process of building this website so i'll take these steps by going to WooCommerce and settings now this is the WooCommerce general settings menu so you scroll down this is the general menu general options so when we scroll down we have this store address so you enter the address of your store where you are located okay you are going to be the central uh we're going to use your address as the central location so you enter your address here i've entered my address and your country you enter your country in my case I'm choosing gun okay now selling location that's under the general options selling location we are selling to all countries this is well wild world wide thing okay eBay sells to all countries okay don't restrict yourself so we're selling to all countries shipping location ship to all countries you sell to leave it as default default customer base just leave it as it is enable tax calculation please take my this enable coupons so when you enable this or allow this uh, your vendors will be able to add coupons give coupons to their uh, buyers all right so we're going to be setting all this so enable that calculate coupon discount sequence please leave it as it is currency options now on the website uh, the pounds is enabled please let's enable USD okay United States dollars and the position of it the position of your dollar symbol leave it as it is and yes save changes good the next part of this is the product section so you click on products make sure the shop page is selected leave it as it is leave this as it is now the weight unit I want to leave kilograms but if you want to select different uh, measurement units you can select it here depending on your country dimensions units 
uh, centimeter is okay reviews if you want buyers to leave reviews uh take mark this enable this and this okay ratings they can also read the product just take mark this and this and save changes the next option is the tax so you click on that and then go through the settings tax options we have prices entered with tax as you can see the prices we have here are tax is not included okay but if you want the tax to be added to the price you enable that yes I will enter price exclusive of tax no I will enter price inclusive of tax and exclusive of tax so let's do the exclusive of tax okay we want the prices to be displayed exclusive of tax calculate tax based on customer shipping address leave it as it is leave this as it is and then just go ahead and save changes now see this thing over here after we change the uh, the currency options see from pounds to USD so it has been changed we are not selling using uh, US USD instead of pounds all right so that's just an update go ahead and click on shipping now let's leave this as default because it's going to be using default shipping zone just leave it as it is click on payment Now the payment options is where we are going to add our payment methods. How do you want them to make payments on your site? So if you have PayPal in your country, this is where you enable that. So you go ahead and enable PayPal. But in this our case, I'm going to use uh, Stripe, which will allow us pay or allow your buyers pay you through credit card so we're going to integrate stripe on our website but this will take time what i want us to do is let's continue the training and after that i'll come back and show you how you add payment methods okay so click on accounts and privacy just check out allow customers to place order without an account very dangerous we want them to create an account on our site before they place an order right so please disable this and take note this allow customers to log into an existing accounts during checkout that's good accounts creation allow customers to create an account during checkout so if you have new customer on your site Will be able, they will be able to create an account uh, whenever they are about to place an order so take note this allow customers to create an account so that's good very good perfect so leave the rest as it is and save changes and a final option we are to take is the advanced section so click on that scroll down where you see card page leave it as card checkout page leave it as checkout my accounts page leave it as my accounts page okay and if you have terms and conditions page we select that here but right now we don't have terms and conditions page just leave these as they are and save changes so after going through those settings right now we can sell a product on this website live and accept live transactions except we don't have a uh, payment gateway integrated okay so don't worry about that 
the next thing we want to do is to make sure we set up the Dukan settings that's where we are going to be accepting new uh, sellers on our website that's where we are going to give them the dashboard to also sell their own products so we installed a plugin called Dukan and activated it so what we have to do is to make sure we go to the top where you see Dukan please hover on settings and click on settings let's scroll down now this is the page we are going to be doing the settings the first settings is going to be the general settings which is uh, this one here okay so admin area access this is the admin area where you are seeing or what you are seeing right now so we don't want our vendors or sellers to see this dashboard because if they are able to have access to this we are dead okay they'll compromise our website this is a very very vital part of the website and they don't have they don't need to get access to this dashboard so what we are doing is we take mark this we this allow vendors and customers from accessing the WP admin area leave it as it is vendor store URL how do you want your vendor store URL to appear if you want this to be vendor you can put here vendor or store any uh, text you want to enter you can enter it here but let's stick to the store okay vendor setup wizard logo upload let's leave it as it is disable welcome wizard please leave it as it is because when they are creating their accounts a welcome wizard will be popped up asking them to it will give them the right way steps to create an account so just leave it as it is vendor store options uh, enable this if you have terms and conditions page so let's enable that and save changes good those changes have been saved the next option is the settings options now this is the uh, fun part this is where we're going to be getting the percentage from these sellers okay so guess follow up we have the commissions type what type of commission do you want to get do you want to get a percentage of their uh, sales if you want a percentage let's leave it as it is but if you want a fixed price let's change that but I think percentage is very good now admin commission you as the admin you as the website owner what is the percentage you want to get from their sales so let's leave this as maybe in my case I'll put 20 percent anytime they sell a product which costs hundred dollars I get twenty dollars they get eighty dollars okay and that's where we are building this website we are deducting those funds because we are building this website and maintaining the website for them so that's where we are deducting these fees now imagine having hundred uh, products sold on your website in a day the amount you're going to make that's why I want you to uh, get close distractions and follow through okay it's about taking uh, your time and focus okay focus on what we do here now we have shipping fee receipt who do you want to pay the shipping fees let's leave it as vendor vendors will pay the fees tax uh, fee receipt vendors will pay that vendor capability new vendor product upload allow newly registered vendor to add products yeah let's disable this because anytime a vendor creates an account okay you have to verify this vendor before they start adding products right so let's disable that disable product pop-up please leave it as it is and order status change when you take mark this vendor can allow or disallow uh yeah allow or disallow vendor to update other status so you have to allow this because when you disallow this uh you have lots of lots of work okay tax to do anytime there's an order you have to go and uh, update the status okay allow your vendor to update the status enable vendor switching 
this just leave it as it is and save changes this is a lot of work but don't worry when you do it right you are perfect it's all about uh, doing this once and for all after you do it that's all don't worry about that the next option is the redraw this way we're going to give our vendors the chance to redraw their money or their earnings so we have two options paypal and bank transfer bank transfer is the big one now minimum redrawal limit see when you leave this as blank uh, anytime they make a sale of even one dollar they will be requesting for this money which will give you a lot of work on the decks please 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 what I want you to do is get entrance at least a minimum amount threshold that they can reach before redrawing this their earnings so to, in my case I'll enter hundred dollars because I want them if they are able to get hundred dollars a month only then they can redraw this earnings okay very very important and after that just leave this as it is and save changes perfect the next step is the page settings please leave this as it is and please if you have terms and conditions page let's select that but we don't have terms and conditions page please very quickly let me create a terms and conditions page so that we can select that here go to pages add new and click on that let's name our page we can name it TOC that's terms of conditions or let's just name it terms of service very good and enter the text enter your terms and conditions here so let's just say this is our terms of service service okay so go ahead and enter whatever your terms and conditions or service are here and you can always come back to this little and edit all right click on publish and click on publish your page is live so what we want to do is go back to our dashboard so we can do that by clicking here okay so come back and click here let's search for our page and if it's not there then we we'll have to refresh this page okay so let's refresh this page all right so after refreshing that page here is it we we'll select this and please save changes so anytime your pages are not appearing or it's not taking effect please just refresh the page everything will load up okay next step is the appearance of the store how do you want your store to look show map on store page please disable this because if they know if buyers know the address of your uh, sellers why should they come to, why should they come to your website they'll just go direct to their location and pick their products up right so we want them we want to disable this and also disable this okay but after disabling this cannot be disabled right so just leave it as it is okay just disable this it will do the work fine and leave this as it is leave this as it is store opening yeah allow that disable that I uh, guess ignore it height vendor information email phone and store address please disable this disable this and disable this save changes good so the last option is your privacy and policy if you have privacy policy uh, you uh, enable that here or you select that here but it's like we do not create that page so we can do that you can do that by going to pages 
add new and add that page, refresh it and select it here. But in my case, I will pick this as my terms and uh, privacy page. So for demo purposes, please don't do that. Just go and create that page and save changes. And this way, we have uh, successfully configured the WhoCommerce settings and Dukan settings. So we can start enrolling uh, sellers onto our site and make the money we need. Okay. So don't worry. I will show you how you add payment methods. I will not forget about that. Okay. Before I bring this training video to an end, I'll be showing you how you can modify the home page of your website by adding categories just like this on your website, changing this logo, removing or adding menus to this, just like what the one you see, add a drop down just like this or delete this drop down and also show you how you can add a menu where they can click and start selling just like on my demo website I will show you how to do all those things on the website also be showing you how you can edit this text change to the text you want and modify this image you can remove this image completely and fix your own image there not forget of these three sections of the website we can delete this text and change to our own text change these products and then show you how you can delete the demo products on this website we don't need this this is not what we are selling and show you how you can start selling your own products on the website and also show you how we can modify this demo data demo text this call to action text this text change this to our logo and add our contact information here not forgetting of this footer text uh, your copyright text and the company name and finally I'll be showing you how you can add payment methods on your website so to start with this let's go hover over on this and click on edit with Elementor so we are using Elementor to edit our pages now Elementor is the tool we use to edit a web page so this makes it very easy for us to edit without touching a code so be able to edit this so in order to edit this you guess point your cursor on this and click on that or you can highlight this and in real time you start typing so I'm just showing you how you can do that this is for demo purposes okay so do my my ways here we can double click on this and change our text uh, sorry our image that's how we change the image so we can upload our own image here scroll down so wherever you want to edit you just send your mouse key pointer to it and type it's like a text editor on this and we edit this come to this and edit edit this and that and after that don't forget to update so that's how you make changes to your web page using Elementor okay I will actually modify some of the text and show you how it works so let's scroll back to the top now to edit a text guess point your cursor on it and click and then you will be able to modify it here okay so let's see
click on this and modify it here click on this and modify it here so for time factor let's go ahead and update this and scroll down to the button you can also do the same to this text here scroll down to the button and this is the part i'll show you how you can upload your own uh logo on your website so you click on this and this is the logo so you can choose your file here And then go ahead and choose your first so you select this let's say this is our logo this is the logo we want to upload so we guess double click on that and it will upload and after that you click on insert media and this media will upload itself on our website so that's how you change the logo of your website you see but it's big okay and because it's big let's go ahead and change the size of the logo by click on image size and you can play with this but what i want you to do is you just click on the custom and enter 150 you can always adjust this to the size you want so let's say you want to put this 100 as well and apply and as you can see it's increasing and after that you update we are changing the contact as information our phone number and the email address so you click on that and come to this enter your phone number here and don't forget to add your class depending on your country okay your email address here let's just leave it as it is but okay let's go and update okay not forget of your street address so I hope by now you know how to modify things on your home page using Elementor which is a very very easy tool to use okay very easy if you want to change this image you click on this and click on style you can choose that image and update it after that you update the changes and in real time your image will be changed and home page will also change as well so i'll also be showing you how you can add your categories onto your website and change this logo as well okay now we can only do that by going back now when we refresh this page we should see the changes we made using elementor and you can see this the changes this is the change and because i'm lazy uh, i had to only make change to this not all scroll down we have this this are our changes very good so let's say we want to change our logo this main logo we do that by going to the customization area
and click on site identification or identity and then we can remove that image that logo and put our own logo and this is the logo we select the logo here and this is how I want my logo to look like you can also skip the uh, cropping but I want to crop this image and here is our logo publish and that has been published this is our site title the tagline okay so you go back copy the address open it in a new tab and this is the logo that's how you change your site logo let's see how we add categories to our website right now we don't like these categories so we'll modify this category to add the categories click on this dashboard so we're going back to our dashboard go to products categories right now we have these categories on the site by default let's delete these categories apply now the default categories have been deleted let's add our categories so I have my categories here the first one is women's clothing so copy that paste it here you can describe your categories here add category image and then add category and the women's clothing have, have been added as a category let's go back add the next category that's men's clothing click here and that has been added as well come back click on cell phone and accessories we copy that add new category and that has been added as well so with these three categories uh, for demo purposes it's okay you can go ahead and add the number of categories you want for your business or your website okay we we'll open this website in a new tab and when we click on this the categories are removed as you can see so I'll show you how we can link the categories we get created on this so that anytime customers come they can click on that category choose the categories and buy products under that category okay let's go back to the WordPress dashboard here we are we're going to add categories so you go to menus appearance menus and click on that now we have this let's create a new category let's create a new category so we click on create new category we name it
category or category one. Create menu. Okay. Please select here and click on this. Now, the categories we added were men's clothing. Copy that. So the first one is going to be men's or uh, women's clothing. So we add that to the menu. That's the category one. Add to menu. The third one was add that to menu. Now make sure this is tick mark and let's see if changes. Let's go back to our website and refresh. Now when we hover on it, you can see the categories are added. But the problem right now is the categories are not linked to any uh, actual category. So there's no link for it. Let's go back to the categories we created first and then grab our link or the URL to those categories and then link them back here. So you come back to the menu section where we added the categories, open this, I'm duplicating this, this one, alright, so we'll go back to products, categories. The first menu is women's clothing. So we we'll grab the link here, women's clothing. We we'll copy this link, copy link address, and paste the link here. The second one is men's clothing. Come back, this men's clothing. Right click on that, copy the link. Come back to the menu and paste that URL here. And the third one is cell phone and accessories. So you come back, copy this link and paste it here. Now save the menu. Alright, so let's go back to the website, refresh that, let's hover on it and as you can see, it links back to the product category. So when we click on that, it will send us to that women's cat uh, clothing category. So we've successfully linked the product categories. Okay, now let's see how we would change these menus or remove some menus here let's go back to our menus we got here by hovering on appearance and menu okay we click on this we have the main menu select so the main menu is actually this menus here you are seeing. 
and here are the menus now to get rid of this drop down we simply have to delete or remove them from a drop down okay to make this a drop down you hold on it drag it over here and leave it save changes okay so this will be a drop down of this let's go back refresh and as you can see those drop downs have been removed and we have a drop down here because we give this a drop down uh, attribute okay so let's clear that drop down by send it back and save the menu so that's how you remove menus and add menus all right very good let's go back to our original website And this is the website now in this part I'm going to show you how you can add a menu here where they can click and create their accounts as sellers so we do that by going back to the menus and if you're confused let's just begin from here come to this section click on dashboard go to appearance click on menus so that's how we got there please create a new menu and name it sellers dashboard or seller seller is okay please click this or tick mark this and create menu now the menu has been created let's assign a page to this menu so these are the pages section and what we need is the dashboard this is the dashboard, the seller's dashboard and you add to menu save changes and let's go back to our website open this website in a new tab and here is it, dashboard but we want to uh, change the text to something like start selling or sellers dashboard because with dashboard you don't know what this stands for so what we have to do is go back to the menus click on this and then change the navigation label to start seller then save your menu we go back to the website refresh and here is it start sell now let's open this website in an incognito mode because as I'm logging as the site administrator 
I can't click if I click on this it's sending us straight to the dashboard okay let me show you something it's sending us straight to the dashboard this is the dashboard which is not I I want to show you for demo purposes let's open this in a new cognitive mode as a seller so click here private mode okay so sellers will not see this the black bar okay but here there's a black bar because I'm locking as the site administrator that's where we're seeing this black bar so this is what the sellers will see click on start selling and a form will pop up asking them to fill as a new seller as you can see okay so right now your website is live and ready to start accepting new signups this video tutorial took me like a week to get published because i'm trying to give you the purest information ever and tutorial ever on the internet that will show you how to do this step by step i'm not just here to create a bunch of videos on this youtube channel and make google uh revenue or whatsoever but i'm here to make sure i guess deliver value to you okay so right now a seller will enter their address click on I am a vendor and then register so the next thing we want to do is to make sure we remove this text we don't want them to see this thing okay so let's go back to Well, WordPress dashboard. Okay, click on dashboard, and we are going to add a plugin that will remove that thing for us very fast. So you go to plugins, add new. Scroll down and enter visual footer remover install this plugin and activate this is the plugin click on visual editor And wait for it to load now scroll down wherever you want or whatever you want to remove using this just take note of the black box scroll down to the button make sure you capture the whole text and click on that and that has been removed all right so you enter whatever you want to enter here copy okay your company name so this my guy and then save changes after that you go ahead and uninstall that plugin because we don't need it again okay so you go back let's click here and here we are please deactivate the plugin but you can always leave the plugin active if you have problems with that okay 
but me I'm leaving it deactivated okay good the next thing we want to do is to make sure we remove the demo products the demo products from this website and then add our own products so we do that by going to our dashboard go to products all products so this is where all your products are listed and here they are okay so let's remove all these products click on ball action and move these products to trash let's open our website shop no products were found so we go back to the product section click on add new product We enter our product name for demo purposes. Let me see Drew. We enter the product description. So this is my demo text. Enter demo text here. regular price let's see five hundred dollars and on sale is two hundred and this is the vendor I'm the vendor selling that product product long sh short description you can put that here okay and a very important feature your product image you set your product image here upload image then set up the drone set product image and then please publish Let's go back to our website and refresh this. And here's our product. So this video is getting long, okay? Hours long. So that's how you add your products onto your website. And if you want to feature this product on the home page, let me show you. Let's go back to the home page. If you want to feature this product on the home page, just like this. Let's come back to the product. Our products and then please this star yes take my dad okay so after highlighting that you're literally featuring it on the home page and when we refresh that and here is it featured products on the home page so that's how you feature your products and this way we've removed all the products and we have started adding our own products now I'll be showing you how you can add payment methods or gateway on your website and after that we'll see who reached this video because this video is not getting out of hand <laughs> okay in this final part of the video we are adding our payment gateways 
So we'll be adding Stripe, which will enable credit card system on our website. But some countries, I understand Stripe is not supported. So I'll show you how you can add another payment gateway or method that will allow us accept credit card and mobile money. So before we start, let's go to our dashboard of WordPress. Go to plugins and click on add new. Let's search for WooCommerce Stripe. Please install this plugin. And activate but if stripe is not in your country or is not supported in your country install this plugin so we'll go to the plugin setting click on add new And search for this plugin. Reef. Please install this plugin and activate. So we've installed and activated two plugins for payment. Let's go to WooCommerce settings. Click on payment. Scroll down. And here we have Stripe and Rave. Now Rave is good for moral money payment, okay? But you can also accept credit card payment on it. Before we integrate the APIs, type stripe.com and create an account with Stripe. But if you have an account with Stripe already, ask a merchant, then you sign up or sign in okay you sign in so i'll enter my login details because i have accounts with stripe and here i am on stripe dashboard so to integrate our api go to developers and click on that Click on API keys and wait for it to load. Right now my account is on test mode. So make sure you verify your accounts and enable live mode instead of test. Okay. And here are your keys. So you copy your publishable live key instead of test key. Come back to WooCommerce, enable Stripe, and then click on Setup. Stripe is enabled, and this is the title, description, pay with your credit card via Stripe, enable test. But if you're going on uh, if you have your life keys please disable this and enter your life keys but well, right now i'm using it for testing purposes so i'll enter my test keys here test publishable and your test secret
and then save changes okay here yeah, save changes but when you are ready to take live transactions please make sure you disable the test feature okay just disable this and enter those testing those live keys all right but because of demo purposes i've entered my test keys here all right that's it so that is to those of you who have stripe in your countries but some countries there's no stripe and have a second payment system or uh, gateway for you and that is reef right so the same way open your type flutterwave.com on your web browser and then create an account with flutterwave but I have an account with flutterwave so I'll go ahead and log into my dashboard but for security reasons you see me inside the dashboard just in a minute here I am on my dashboard of flutterwave okay because of security reasons uh, I guess turn this to the testing mode instead of live right I don't want to see some data there's some important information that I don't want to put on the internet okay so to integrate your API let's go to settings and click on that go to API and here are your APIs instead of test you have live API okay so you toggle your you turn this or switch this to the live mode and copy those these API keys come back to WooCommerce scroll down enable reef and then set up make sure this is tick mark enable reef payment gateway and live mode if you're going live you enable this but disable it for now and this is where you enter your test keys and your life keys right so and your save changes this way you've successfully integrated your payment gateways on your system so that's how you do that please if you have que comments questions or any suggestions just leave them in the description because i'm here to help you out it's because of you i'm here on my channel all right i just created this channel because i feel like i want to create videos to help you out help the world all right thanks if you're still watching this video you have successfully completed a full course on how to build your own professional looking multi vendor e-commerce website just like ebay or amazon it's all about taking action if you take action and implement what i teach on this youtube channel you will definitely succeed uh, sometimes you have to learn the hard way uh, most of us feel always sometimes feel lazy to learn the hard way but if you're able to learn this and this gets like a two-hour course so guess watching this two-hour course have given you a skill that will help you uh, succeed in life all right so let me see you in the next video bye bye